designed together was something called the Hug Shirt. And the Hug Shirt is a shirt that lets you send a hug to anyone anywhere in the world. And this is... <laughs> was that an excuse to hug Ryan when we were studying together? I need you to do your research. <laughs> so this is many years ago that we designed the Hug Shirt together. Um, uh, there we go. This is a, the, the illustration of the Hug Shirt. And so this was actually the world's first wearable haptic telecommunication system, or the first wearable touch telecommunication system. And that was all the way back in 2002. And the idea behind the Hug Shirt was, you know, 2002 was still kind of early days for the internet, and we thought about the way people could send images to each other, and that was really cool. You could send photographs, and you could send text messages, and you could send emails, and you could send viral memes, but the thing you couldn't send was a touch. And that didn't make any sense. We have five senses and we're ignoring one. So we developed the Hug Shirt and with this idea that it is a new way of telecommunicating. And that was the beginning of Cute Circuit as a, as a company. And over the years we um, began doing different types of wearable technologies. So I'll just talk quickly about some of them. We designed something much simpler called the Twirkle Shirt, which was a, the first illuminated t-shirt, LED illuminated t-shirt. And then the Katy Perry dress in 2010, which is the one that he mentioned. And the Katy Perry dress was crazy because we didn't know, I didn't know who Katy Perry was <laughs> when she called us. And uh, so they said, well, we had seen one of your dresses in the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. And we were wondering if you could do one for Katy. And we said, well, when do you need it? And they said, well, uh, next Tuesday. Oh, and it was a Thursday night. And so we, uh, we said, no, I'm sorry, I don't think we can do a dress for next Tuesday. And then a few minutes later, the phone rang again, and it was jo Johnny, Katie's stylist. And he said, guys, Katie's crying. She really wants a dress for me. <laughs> so we used whatever we had on hand. We stayed up three nights, four nights in a row, making dress all night long. We flew to New York City and hand-delivered her the dress. And we had worked really hard to make it really elegant. And, and she said, guys, it needs to blink faster. So we, <laughs> we reprogrammed the dress so she had the world's first LED illuminated dress on the red carpet. And the next morning, uh, after she wore it to the Met Gala, it was on the front page of it, what seemed like every newspaper in the world because we saw it on the front page of newspapers in New York City and then we came back to London and it was there too. So, anyway, long that <laughs> We also developed an interactive t-shirt called T-Shirt OS and that became also the world's first interactive handbag, which is... Uh, Still for sale, actually. And now we were, we had the Hug Shirt, and we were, we've still been developing it, but we were contacted by the Junge Symphoniker in Hamburg, Germany, and they, they had this idea, what if this Hug Shirt could let people feel music? And we thought, that's an amazing idea, because it doesn't even require changing the hardware, it just change the software, and the shirt, a Hug Shirt becomes a sound shirt. So that is what we started to do. And from now on, we'll talk only about sound shirts. And uh, this is a quote that we really like. You probably, hands up everybody who knows who Marshall McLuhan is. You guys, he's a media theorist. And he said this really interesting thing that perhaps touch is not just skin to contact with things, but the very life of things in the mind. And th this has become very resonant with us because we think that it, it seems, th also through our research, that for experiences to be real, they have to have this touch aspect. If you're just watching it and just hearing it, then you're observing it, but you're not necessarily experiencing it personally. So, what makes an experience real is touch. And by real, what we really mean is immersive. That you feel, you, you lose the sense of time passing because you're enjoying the activity that you're doing in that very moment. Yeah. 